Hey, this is letters to my people, the biggest opinions on the smallest channel, saying the things that your favorite YouTubers wish they could say, but can't. Now, in today's editorial, we're going to be taking a look at two channels that I've been noticing have been popping up on my timeline lately. Um, we're going to look at Expose the Manosphere. Me, whoops, I spelled Expose wrong. Expose the Manosphere, and then after Expose the Manosphere, we're going to look at um, Black Pill Truth um, 2.0. <laughs> right, Expose the Manosphere, we're going to look at this real quick. And, geez, on the recent Expose the Manosphere, he mostly has interviews. Oh, he interviewed C. Boogie. He has an interview with a former Red Pillar. Now, supposedly, um, Exposed the Manosphere is a channel that is run by a gentleman by the name of Aaron Fountain, who has um, built himself up as an antagonist of the Manosphere, the larger Manosphere, and, and the Black Manosphere as well. Um, he is no stranger to YouTube. And um, I believe this is his second channel. Now let me look at this video. Into the whole sex tourism thing going on, the skin color and all that, the hair. And it, it was, to me, it was like, I was going mostly on politics and what was going on and the, the centric stuff. But, but when it got into the whole sexual thing, that was to me that was something brand new because i did not know that was going on until i um now this particular person his name is kim one two three and um from what i told i peeped at his channel and he's been going in on the passport community lately um yeah you know there's some brothers that Wanted to know what he looks like, and it wasn't until this very video that he revealed his face. We'll eventually get around to doing an editorial about him. So let's go on to. I just watched a video from from this from this idiot right there, known as I'm um, exposed to manosphere, and I'm just I'm just like. This guy, this guy needs to shut the f up, like, trust me, he needs to shut the f up, you know what I mean, like, because let me tell you something, yeah, if I ever see him in the street one day, if I ever see him in the street, I'll just knock out his blood clot, I'll knock out his teeth, blood. Like, I'll turn to Mike Tyson and just walk, pow, just thump it up, thump up and fierce. Nigga, I'll pay your flight, nigga. <laughs> nigga, I'll pay your flight. No, 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 this is not another catch a flight video. But I sure wish it was. Anyway. <laughs> the Manosphere has long insulated itself from criticism by running critics off of YouTube and blocking them from its channels. As many of you know, I began a YouTube channel in May of last year that was almost terminated by detractors when it just had around 250 subscribers. Because the Manosphere has been unsuccessful in its attempts to run me off YouTube, it has instead resorted to a new tactic, delegitimization. It does this by insisting that I'm taking content creators' words out of context and, in some cases, flatly making stuff up. It's interesting that you mention Aaron Fountain. Um, now, me and Concrete have been featured on um, Aaron Fountain's show, right? <laughs> and, you know, I felt like a lot of things, um, people can take certain things out of context. He will clip out just very out of context video out of context streams right post clips right pays them together and then paste the narrative but this all right that is another video from aaron Fountain, aka exposed the manosphere um well for the most part most of his content is going in at particular well-known content creators um he has a lot of um, videos um, criticizing SYSBM. He has some going at people of the travel community and some other red pillars. 
Um, my my um analysis on Exposed the Man's Fear. Um, he has very entertaining content. I I like his content, but for me, I'm just looking at this channel and wondering um what other than the entertainment value, what purpose does his channel serve? And exposing the manosphere. Okay, so you expose these guys and then what? What what's the end game after you expose them? Is it purely to discredit them? Is it purely just to persuade viewers to stop following them and follow you? So what is the point? What is your what is your ultimate mission? What is your objective? I'm looking at your channel. I mean I see a lot of stuff here, but I'm just scratching my head and wondering, um, what is your overall goal in the whole scheme of things? And what are you looking to accomplish by exposing certain content creators and letting people know? I mean, it, I mean, yeah, I can understand you show another point of view or maybe, um, poke holes in their argument. But at the end of the day, what are you looking to achieve? I mean, is, is the is the um, cherry on top just attention? Because we all know that on these YouTube streets, people are going to um, follow who they want to follow and listen to who they want to listen to. And, and depending on the content creator, they're going to, um, the viewers are going to continue enabling them and making excuses for them. So... We're going to go on to um, Black Pill Truth. Let me see. Black Pill Truth. Black Pill Truth 2.0. Now, um, my knowledge on what the Black Pill means as it pertains to all the other um, pills in the uh, um, cyber rainbow is spotty at best. I believe a person that has black pill pretty much just doesn't, you know, very skeptical of women and just has a disdain for them. Or, I mean, um, someone in the um, comment section, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just going by um, a layman's definition of it. But let's play a random video. Well, out. Uh, Alan Roger, uh, crackhead, and Solo Titties. Solo Titties was yes. talking big shit. He was talking big <laughs> shit about my hey. right. Alan Roger, crackhead. That's a new one. Like crackhead, right. never hear the name Solo Titties. <laughs> you know he's not getting away with that shit. He was right. talking shit. He'll be, like, you sent me a message one. about that. He's the one who's yeah. shucking and jiving. The he Solo Titties. Solo Titties. Solomon yeah, Hello. Hello, Solomon right hello. I don't know. It just looks like, to me, Solo TV is just doing a bit and... Solo titties? I don't know. You got calling him solo titties. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure whether to laugh at solo. I mean, solo doesn't look suspect to me. The person that is the most suspect is the person with the accusations. But let's continue. And that's what the fuck that motherfucker got his channel, Solomon Jones channel, because he didn't have the balls to put the shit on his solo TV eighty four channel. He put of it on course. his Solomon Jones channel. Talking shit about QB. Meanwhile, he's the one that's shucking and jiving and running to the plantation on his knees. That's some chick on the sidewalk with a dashiki, you know, hanging his fucking C cup titties out. He tried to say that video was fake, but you know what was real in that video? Solo titties. Them titties was real. Them, 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 them. Right. This, do you, do you have a screenshot? Where I don't, I don't know, folks. Up? It's just somebody obsessing over a bit that Solo TV is doing. It's obviously a, com a comedy sketch. Um, Solo TV is doing something akin to what Sasha Bourne, I think his name is, the guy that played Borat, would do with his character. So I really see nothing exposed here. Now let's go go to the next one. Oh, Solo TV 84 versus AMS. This is interesting. It's gonna be a pay-per-view special. A black, white, I don't care. Winner gets ten racks. 
I'll send it to you in Bitcoin, my nigga. Let's do it. I'll send it to you cash or Bitcoin. It don't matter. Now, Solo TV, um, he's going at AMS. And he's offering, he's issuing a public challenge to AMS regarding um, who could pick up white girls in the field. AMS has yet to respond to this challenge. And I doubt he will. Because it seems like AMS, he's been very strategic about who he will do videos with. Now, in the earlier days, AMS would um, do videos with um, mo a lot of heads in the black space of YouTube. But for the most part, he um, branched off of that and is just doing videos with other content creators. Um, mostly content creators that aren't in the drama and um some of them aren't black with the exception of maybe um kevin samuels it, it's interesting on ams's part i mean um alan roger curry is still doing videos about ams here and there and ams has yet to um answer any of the um allegations from alan roger curry that um you know, because from what I understand, AMS supposedly um, took or misappropriated some of Alan Roger Curry's um, stuff from his um, books. So it, it, it it's just interesting. I mean, no one, I mean, um, Solo tried to get a hold of AMS, but AMS, for whatever reason, isn't um, really responding to um solo's messages but this challenge would be interesting to see i would i would like to see this challenge because it just seemed that ams wasn't really interested in um pursuing any snow bunnies i'm not sure if he was scared or he was just trolling certain people and um the th the thing is is that he could have hollered and whatnot i mean what was he afraid of they weren't gonna say nothing well, you know something, when you holler at a chick on the streets and everything, you out and about, those are the um, chances you take. But, I don't know. I mean, it'd be interesting to see these guys um, compete with this, but very rarely do people really respond to these challenges. So, we're going to move on. watching right now mr keep it simple so i'm looking at the camera but some of you your favorite youtubers guys let me zoom in right now some of your favorite youtubers are suckers behind the scenes ams you you really just need to do this challenge with solo tv 84 man you know i know i know you really i know really you don't have anything to prove but just you know just out, out, off of um how how is it they say um, GP and everything? You need to you need to um, do this challenge and whatnot. And just prove that you can you can pick up snow bunnies. You know you like you. I, I know you prefer chocolate bunnies, but yo, we want to see you compete with Solo TV eighty four for some snow bunnies, man. So AMS man, you need to um, stop hanging out with the roommates. Stop. Um, doing random stuff with Kevin Samuels or mediocre tutorials or whoever and get with Solo TV 84 because Solo TV 84 blessed you with your first interview. But let's listen to some more. They suckers, they simps, they out here doing the most. They, they ain't really living what they're talking about. The only time they're turning up is on YouTube. Like I said, I got 10 stacks for AMS. And AMS was wearing that loud Kermit the Frog collar shirt. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe the chicks weren't feeling that shirt, you know. Or you was probably just in the wrong area, AMS. And you had a chick holding the camera for you. AMS. So if Solo was there, Solo would have hollered at them chicks and... Something tells me Solo wouldn't have gave a rat's ass whether them chicks hollered back or not. Because I think Solo is that kind of nigga. So, let's move on. Oh, we have something with Donovan Sharp. 
we were getting ready to go to bed the other night and my girlfriend takes off her clothes. She normally sleeps naked and I'm, I'm looking at her body and I'm like, hmm, something's a little bit off. Some so this is Donovan's girl? I don't know. Something's just a little bit off. Something's a little bit off. Something's just a little bit off. Donovan will attempt to report this video and get it taken down and it's bullshit. This woman is a public figure as we've discussed. She is his business manager. She is all over the place. And, 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 and you know what's a little bit off? Dudes obsessing over other dudes' women. You know, I, I understand that, you know, everybody has their definition of what's hot and what's banging. But the one thing you really shouldn't really be doing is obsessing over another guy's chick and who another guy chooses to bang. We all have our tastes and preferences here. And I know some of you are going to um, disagree with me and be hateful and spiteful with me because, you know, Donovan Shop. And it seems to be popular to um, pile on on Donovan, but his taste is his taste. And um, indicator of that chick, I really can't really make out that chick and everything like that. To me, she just looks like an average white chick. But um, if Donovan finds her hot, he finds her hot, you know. So the only thing that matters is that he likes her and he's happy with her, at least to me. But we're going to leave this video. Uh, and see, this is the thing I notice on here. Most of um, the videos on the Black Pill Truths channel go at Fresh and Fit. Um, some other dating coaches, Solo TV 84, which they refer to as Solo Titties. Oh, it's very, very crazy, very interesting. But let's watch this one more AMS. Y'all want to see AMS get some snow bunnies? Press one if you want AMS to get some snow bunnies. Press one if you want AMS to get some snow bunnies. They pressing one, baby. Down one. AMS, we, 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 we know your Bama ass don't like snow bunnies. You, you prefer chocolate bunnies instead of snow bunnies. And I'm not sure if you, uh, you know, color struck and everything, but I think you like caramel snow bunnies. You don't like the dark chocolate snow bunnies, man. But you, you definitely, you definitely don't, we, we know that you definitely don't like the vanilla snow bunnies. You like the chocolate snow bunnies, so this is just this is just a waste of air time for you, AMS. I'm not sure what you were trying to prove, but we're gonna log off of this. Up on the first date? Sometimes. No. Okay, you got. Yeah. Uh, tough. All right, so look, let me ask you another question, right? I have morals. Oh, okay. What kind of guys are you going dates with? That bitch don't got no morals. She's lying. Hey, really, I don't have a type. It depends. Oh, you don't have a type? I don't she didn't want to say no on camera. She wanted to appear like she was a nice girl, but we all know she ain't. I don't go on dates. Oh, okay. Bet, bet, bet. Do you like black guys? So what, what she's saying is that she's the type of chick that you wouldn't necessarily take out. She would be a chick that you bring to the crib, smash it real quick, and then head out to the club with your boys in time for last call. So that, that's the kind of chick she is. She's a smash and dash chick. You know, you be at her house at 10 and be out by 10.30. She's that kind of chick. Us? Of course. Do you think I'm attractive? <laughs> uh, she doesn't think he's attractive. Again, this chick was trying to be nice. Of course. If you think I'm attractive, can I get a kiss? On, on, the, cheek, on the cheek, on the cheek. Um, I have a boyfriend. Is your boy? She's lying. Friend white? Yes. Congrats. We pretty much knew her boyfriend was white because 
Um, if you if you study this chick's body language, she acts like she's not comfortable with him. Doesn't want to be around him, as we'll see later in the video. Hey, listen, I'm gonna try to tell y'all something about Gooby too. I'm telling y'all, a lot of these girls they put. And do you notice how quickly she got away from Goofy, whatever his name is? But as Black Pill Truth refers to him as incel tunes. So we're going to be doing a review on his channel um, maybe within the next week. So look out for that. Fritz is white. If it ain't white, it's pastel. It ain't right. <laughs> Now, I'm trying to figure out if this dude is for real or he's just doing something similar to what Solo TV 84 was doing. And that is a skit in a similar vein that um, Sasha Boren did with his character Borat. So I don't know. But either way, this really isn't a good look for brothers. I I'm referring I'm referring to this dude. If this dude is serious about all this it just isn't a good look one thing you can do on this internet is you can pretend to be somebody that you're not which is what this dude has been doing getting a lot of money. another video going at donovan Coach Greg Adams did. It is a critical mistake to make that assumption that there are no men who are claimed to be MGTOW that don't follow your content. So the, in essence, he's saying, I don't care about these individuals because. Coach Greg Adams and Richard Cooper pretty much have a beef with each other. Um, I, I forgot what the beef is about, but I know that they are beefing. I have a, a, another level of viewership. I have another success. I have more women following me, X, Y, and Z. So the easiest people to, to crap on is men going their own way because we are the most vocal. We're actually taking the most risk in the red pill community. Now, um, I have to give Coach Greg Adams this. He, he, took, he took the phrase MGTOW and made it his own. He flipped it, reversed it, and remixed it. He prefers to call it the free agent lifestyle, and I can't think of the tenants offhand, but it's something similar to SYSBM and some other movements um, that you'll find online. Now, he responds to me, my core audience, my core audience are men chasing excellence and putting themselves, not women. Oh, so that's where Donovan Shop got the name from. The CME convention. Um, conference of whatever men, men, male excellence or something. First, replies back to me, do you bang dolls? <laughs> and at that point, I says, obviously, he doesn't know who I am. I am not. Well, I think he does know who you are. I think the I think the thing is he just doesn't care because guys like that they're pretty much in their own world and they don't concern themselves with who else is popping. So, you know, no 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 offense to you, but um Richard Cooper just seems like he's a guy that's in his own world and once you're up top like that and popular and high and um, feeling yourself, you're not going to really care or concern yourself with other people that are popping on the streets like you. Just an individual with an opinion. I'm an individual that does have an audience myself and understand how these numbers. Again, Richard Cooper doesn't care if you have an audience. All right, let's look at some other. Oh, more AMS. More Donovan shop. And are repulsed by women that aren't in sex work but and are overtly promiscuous. also are a high value man who just said he's dated multiple OnlyFans strippers. I never referred to myself as a high value man, but okay. You don't but consider I, but I, but yourself I, that? 
Yeah, you know, I don't want to be cocky, but I have dated multiple women that work in that industry. I and feel I'm, like you have the right to answer yes or no to these yeah, questions. Yeah, are you a high value man? Questions. Are you a high value man? That'd be very cocky. Anyway. Are you a high value <laughs> man so or not? Yes, yes or no? Listen, you know, ladies. Do you meet the criteria <laughs> of a... Well, do these chicks even know what a high value man is, first and foremost? And secondly, um, I believe that it's the Fresh and Fit podcast not the three cackling hens p- podcast, but let's continue. I value men as per that Samuel's you man guys can, on You guys YouTube. can assume. You guys can assume what you like. The point <laughs> I'm Why trying to make is. Why can't you answer? That Samuel's man. Don't you just love it when females want to flip everything back? Um, it, it's it's Myron Gaines and the Fresh Prince CEO show. It's not their show. But moving on. I think deflection is very yeah. telling. Okay, well, you guys can assume. So he's want. a wannabe high value man? There you go, wannabe. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And this is why some hot women should be seen and not heard. Just I'm ask an me, imposter. what about you? Are you a high value man? Do oh. you make over 100K a year? I'm a broke boy. <laughs> Facts. I work at. Now, um, audience, a person that's a high value man, they're not going to go around and declare it. You're, you're going to know off the rip that they're high value. Something in them will project that. Now, maybe um, these guys were giving off the wrong vibes or something, which led these girls to question or challenge whether they were high value men. Or, I mean, we, we'd call this, and some of the millennials and Gen Zers would call this a shit test. Chick-fil-A. Thanks. I thought that was your past <laughs> life when you were married and... So I think maybe these girls were just shit testing them, you know, so it, it appears that way to me. We still do. It's Miami. I still do. Everybody here counts. Yeah. So anyway, uh, <laughs> going back to, so your, what was your original question again? It was, um, oh, why? So I think most of these black pill videos, black pill truth is just um, stuff that comprises of compilations of different um, Donovan Shop, um, Fresh and Fit podcast, and AMS Solo TV 84, and um, I see the Joker and Richard Cooper up in here, and different Red Tal- red Pill people's um, content. And I mean, um, on occasion, um, the Black Pill Truth comes here and gives his own... Um, commentary on different things but but for the most part it's just other people's um material on here um there's i see a video of um he he titled it weirdos in cars a parody of um richard cooper's entrepreneurs in cars and he calls richard cooper the grift keeper (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, you must have a small pee pee for buying these cars and trucks and, you know, you should use that money to feed people or give it away. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> All right, let's see this one. Solo TV 84 side piece snow bunny catches a ride <laughs> to the crib and so bunko busting. <laughs> Come on. Stop. Richard, this dude keeps referring to Richard Cooper as a grift keeper. Oh, Kevin Samuels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This dude, when I, when, I got, when I got my Patreon from him, he sent me an email and stated, well, why did you cut your Patreon? You should send me an explanation. So Kevin Samuels is um, supposed, um, supposedly harassing an ex Patreon supporter for canceling his subscription. I don't know why he canceled his his subscription, but you know, um, people have their right to cancel something um, at their leisure. Maybe because do need to save money on some. We don't know why he canceled it, but. To harass somebody for canceling. That's just like harassing somebody for unfriending you on Facebook, you know. But um we we don't we don't pay money for Facebook friends. 
Oh, wait a minute. Let me go back. Uh, I see a whole bunch of Donovan Shop. Oh, Donovan Shop got banned on Twitter. Jeez, modern life dating. Hmm. Well, um, let me sum this up quickly before um my phone acts up again. Um, my overall analysis of Expose the Manosphere and Black Pill Truth 2.0, their channel, their channels are very entertaining. I'm not gonna front. They they're very entertaining. Um, I, I laugh at some of the content and the way they present it on there. And, you know, um, it gets my attention, gets my interest. But, you know, it's like I'm, I'm just pondering what's the point of the channels and everything. I mean, if it's just for entertainment value, I'm, I'm all for it. But um, if you just in it just so you can get um, people to stop messing with these particular content creators it's not going to happen because youtube is a place where people don't value things like integrity or accountability so because we don't value those things people are allowed to continue with whatever you think is wrong and whatever you think needs to be called out no one cares on these streets and that that is why I, I really I, I just think that um, doxing people is just a waste of time. Okay, you expose this person's real name and their residence and what they do for a living and everything and go to their um whatever that blade page or whatever and find out how much money they make and all this other stuff and it at the end of the day it just I mean, oh it's called social blade. At the end of the day it just doesn't um it's just meaningless because no what nobody's gonna care um what wow um about certain things you expose them people are still gonna want to mess with them in fact people are just gonna mess with them even more because you dox them so it, it makes no difference and are repulsed by women that are in sex work but you and are overtly also are a high value man who just said he's dated multiple only fans this looks Wave, like right? Again. Uh -huh. like, are you trying to just make this into a humor thing? Are you trying to educate people? Like, what's the like? I'm trying to tell people like, what's the purpose. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to show people that it's really tough, like, because people need to understand, like, because all these dating coaches keep telling people, "Yo, go out in the street, talk to women." But people need to understand, it's going to be tough. It's going. It's only tough because one, you. I mean, I, I'm I'm just gonna be blunt, bruh. You 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 creeping the chicks out. The way you come off is just creeping them out and scaring them. So, and I'm not sure if what you're doing is an act. I, I'm I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt here, but what you're doing is just um creeping them creeping these chicks out with the way you coming off. You need to dial it back. And if you dial it back and everything, you you find out that it's not as tough as you believe. It you know I mean it's approach. I'm sorry, it is tough. It's tough. I'm sorry, it's tough. It's tough. It listen, you can go out and talk to a hundred girls and dick and you get their number and they all stop replying. I'm just like, damn. And if they all start replying, you just delete their numbers and keep it pushing. Facts. Damn. I'm Facts. sorry. It is tough. I, I, that's why I, I'm really trying to show people that conf I'm sorry. Confidence don't matter. I'm sorry. If a, it's like confidence does matter, bro. But in your case, approach matters. So something in your approach is off, which is causing the chicks to repel you in mass so you need to work on your approach nowadays if a girl don't find you attractive or she don't like something about you you're beat you're beat you're not getting nothing you're not getting nothing you're not getting nothing oh you're not getting nothing well bruh it comes down to your approach and it comes down to averages and um for sure we'll call this a and a approach and averages 
and um, right now your averages, if, if we used to measure this in baseball terms, you're batting under five. You're batting under a thousand, bro. You're you're not ba- you're not barely hitting anything, dude. So you need to work on your swing. No, like I got hey, Goofy. Are you turning black pill? I ain't gonna lie, it's tough, dude. I, it's tough. No, no, no Goofy. So. Yeah, it is tough, man. But you know, some in, in this in this game, you have to have a thicker skin for this because if you let all this bother you and you take this all personally, you're 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 not you're not gonna really get get nowhere in this. And if you do, and you're fortunate to get a chick in this, you're just gonna end up taking it all out on her. So. You know, in the black pill ideology, they believe it's only about looks, money, and status. It doesn't matter if you got game or personality. So that's what black pill is. All right, we're going to tune out of this video because I think this editorial went on too long. But as I said before, what is the point of exposing Manosphere and a black pill truth 2.0 other than entertainment? But, you know... I mean, if you guys like watching those channels and you get some kind of educational and redeeming value out of them, more power to it. I just don't really see any point other than um, just entertainment and laughs. But that's just me. So, and that, that concludes my editorial or my thoughts on Expose the Manosphere and Black Pill Truth 2.0. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. Follow us on Twitter. And as always, one love.